Alright guys, Kumbi. Chariot. Kyung Kyungye. I am a martial artist. I am a martial artist. I will choose integrity over comfort. I will choose integrity over comfort. Courtesy over selfishness. Courtesy over selfishness. And self-control over indulgence. And self-control over indulgence. In difficulty, I will persevere. In difficulty, I will persevere. For I have been created with a purpose. For I have been created with a purpose. To help those around me. To help those around me. And to improve myself daily. And to improve myself daily. Very good. This is my creed for the journey. This is my creed for the journey. Excellent. Okay, guys. Today we are going to start out with something called a static half push up. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is go into your all fours, your Set. hands and knees there. Great. Now, what you're going to do, just your hands and knees. Excellent. Perfect, just like that. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to keep your knees on the floor just like this, okay? And parents, what you guys can do is help your students to make sure that they are balanced and their hands are shoulder width apart. So make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. I don't want them way out here or way in here together, okay? Just shoulder width, right below your shoulders. Excellent. Now, what I want you guys to do is you're going to walk forward just a little bit, and then you're going to let your hips drop so that your body becomes straight. You don't want your hips to touch the floor. Now, what I want you to do is pull your toes up and point them at the ceiling. Excellent. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now you're just going to push yourself back. Excellent. And again, parents, if you want to make that a little bit longer, you can do multiple rep repetitions of that exercise. The next one we're going to do, I'm going to get my little list here so I don't forget. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a horse dance. So go ahead and stand up for me, please. Yes, sir. Excellent. Okay, we're going to drop into our great horse dance right here, and we're just going to hold this position. We're going to hold it for about 10 seconds. What you want to make sure, guys, is that you're sitting your butt down, your toes are going out just a little bit, and your knees are bent. You want to try to get as close to a 90 degree angle as you can. If it helps, you can put your hands out in front of you to get a little bit better balance. And you can just hold this position starting at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Very good. You can relax out of that position. Excellent job. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to brush this little spider off of the floor because he's a little creepy. And then we are going to do our feet out of water. So can you guys lay down on your back for me, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to put your hands way above your head and just lay them on the mat. Excellent. Now, you're going to peek your feet together and stretch your knees out so that your legs are flat. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lift our feet up off the floor just a little bit and we're gonna hold that position, okay? So you only wanna lift them just a little bit like there's a puddle on the floor underneath your feet and you wanna keep your feet dry, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so ready? I want you to go ahead and lift those feet. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Very good. Now, again, parents, this is a great opportunity if your kids are really doing this well and they're not struggling with it. You can make sure that you repeat this a couple of times. I recommend about two to three repetitions of this, just 10 seconds each. And that really gets a great core warm-up. Okay, guys, go ahead and stand up for me, please. Yes, sir. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be Spider-Man. Who likes Spider-Man? Me. You like Spider-Man? I like Spider-Man. You know what? One of the things he does is he crawls up walls. And when he does it, he puts his feet apart like this with his knees bent. His knees are kind of out, and he puts his hands up like this, and he has his fingertips on the wall, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to be Spider-Man. We're going to pretend like this floor is a wall, okay? So what I want you to do is get in your hands and knees position. Yes, sir. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch our feet up behind us like this, and we're going to put the balls of our feet on the floor. Good. Now we're going to spread our arms out like this to where they're about double shoulder width apart, and we're going to hold this position for about another 10 seconds. Ready? In 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, keep yourself up. Three, two, and relax. Very good. Excellent. The further you stretch yourself out with that, the harder it is. You can really kind of change how your exercise level goes, can't you? Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into some kicking. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to start by making sure that our, our kicking works really, really well. So go ahead and stand up for me, please. Yes, sir. Okay, and get in a right leg back fighting stance for me, please. Yes, sir. Okay, now when we do our kicks, what's the very first thing we do? Chamber. Keep our hands up, right? So we're working on focus today, so I want you guys to really, really focus on making sure your hands stay up during the whole kick. A lot of times when we start focusing on our legs, what happens to our hands? They go down. 
oh, they fall down or they get all kind of crazy out here, right? So let's make sure we focus today on keeping our hands up in this position. You can even do a hands up shield position if you'd like, but right now we're gonna have our hands closed, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do in our kick is we're gonna chamber our knee. knee. That's exactly right, great job, Miss Becca. All right, parents, make sure you're encouraging your kids as you go through this so that they feel like they have some great value in this. And they can also encourage you, kids, you guys, if you're watching this video and doing the training with us, you can encourage your parents because they've never done this stuff before. And maybe they need a little encouragement too. All right, so what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna take that back leg and you're gonna pick it up just like this, boom, and point that toe toward the floor, perfect. Now put it back down, excellent. Okay, one more time, we're gonna pick it up. Point that toe to the floor, excellent, and put it back down. Okay, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make sure we snap that leg out and bring it right back to that position, okay? So pick your knee up, toes are pointed down, snap out, bring it right back and set it down. Excellent balance, guys. Thank you for your super focus, you're doing a great job. Okay, now we're gonna make it a little bit harder. Now that we know how to do the kick properly, we're gonna make it a little bit harder, okay? We're gonna do a little drill with it. Here's what you're gonna do. You're each gonna get a ring, okay? So if you guys would take one step back for me, please. One step. Very good, okay, I'm gonna put your ring right here. I'm gonna put your ring right here. Now parents, if you don't have a ring like this at home, what you can do is you can use some um, masking tape or something to put a little square on the floor, okay? The square probably needs to be anywhere from eight to 12 inches. Um, and you can do a circle too, like if you have um, maybe a large bowl or something, and you can kind of tape around that bowl so that you can see the, the size of it. Anywhere from eight to 12 inches in diameter for the circle, same for the square, eight to 12 inches on the side. And that'll give you a great space for your kids to do this exercise. Okay, guys, would you step right into that square for me, please? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, hands up. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 kicks without stepping out of the circle. So you're gonna have to watch your balance. And we're gonna do all 10 of those kicks without stopping. You're gonna alternate feet. So you're gonna use one leg, boom, and then you're gonna use the other leg, boom. We're gonna make sure we do a nice little key up with each one, not super loud, but just a little one. Okay, are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Ready, here we go. One, ha. two, ha. three. Ha. Don't step out of the circle. Four, ha. five, ha. six, ha. seven, ha. eight, ha. nine, ha. ten. Ha. Excellent job. Nobody stepped out of the circle. Great job, give me a high five. All right, great stuff. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is something you guys are pretty used to. These are called wall kicks, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right over here to this wall. I want you guys to face yes, that sir. direction for me, please. All right, when we do wall kicks, parents, what we're working on is our balance, our focus, and our perseverance to get our legs up there and make sure they stay at a good height. So what these guys are gonna do, because they're such good students, is they're gonna pick their knee up and they're gonna push it out to the side in a side kick. Boom, just like that. And when they hold it out there, they're gonna try to hold it right at their belt level if they can. If they can't, that's okay. But we're gonna do our absolute best. Right, kids? Yes, sir. Awesome job, okay. So I'm gonna stand right behind you guys and we're gonna count together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pump our leg five times and then we're gonna hold it on the sixth time. Ready? Legs up, ready and push. One, two, three, four, five. And hold, two, three, four, five. Very good, and pull it back in. Awesome job, and of course, parents, you would wanna do that on both sides. It's very important to make sure we work both sides of the body so we're engaging the muscles and the brain on both sides of our body at all times. All right, guys, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few little stretches. So if you guys would come and sit right here yes, sir. in your squares, excellent. Okay, Miss Becca, would you sit one square forward? You guys can sit right in front of those circles, please. Awesome job. Okay, parents, this part of our exercise is really, really important to keep ourselves flexible during this time where we're not training as hard or as much, all right? So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by patting ourselves on the back. So everybody take one hand and stick it straight up in the air. Put it down behind your back and just pull that elbow so that you stretch your tricep. For some people, this is really hard and some people it's really easy and that's okay. We still wanna stretch the muscles even if it's easy for us. Very good, and release. And of course, we would do that with both sides, right? Yes, sir. We always wanna do things with both sides. All right, let me get my list and make sure I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. All right, go ahead and stand up for me, please. Yes, sir. The next stretch we're gonna do is side bends. Now, parents, you notice that I'm having the kids get up and down a lot. That's a great way to keep their energy up and keep them moving throughout this whole exercise, okay? All right, guys, go ahead and go to a um, ready stance for me, please. Yes, Chumbi. Now, spread your legs out just a little bit more. Excellent, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our arms above our head and make a circle. Just like this, you wanna grab in that circle perfectly like this. Now what you guys are gonna do is you're just gonna lean to this side over here. Big lean. There you go, and just hold that position. Try to keep your balance. Don't lean forward, you wanna lean 
perfectly sideways. There you go, Michael. Good job. Very good. And you're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. And then you're going to lean all the way to the other side, just like this. And you're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. Perfect. Okay. The very last thing we're going to do is we're going to do some kneeling stretches. So if you guys would go ahead and get down on your knees. Now, these are something that are a little bit more difficult for me personally, but they might not be for you guys. So the very first one we're going to do is kind of silly. All you're going to do is lean down and try to put your chest on your knees and reach out on the floor in front of you. Reach, 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 reach as far as you can. Try to keep your tush down on your heels if you can. And you're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to sit up. Now you're going to take your hands and you're going to put them behind your back and set them on the floor. Now you're just going to walk back until you feel a good stretch kind of in your quads here and in your ankles. And you're just going to hold that position for about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now just walk your hands back up. Excellent job. Okay, go ahead and stand up for me, please. Yes, to me. Turn it over. Kyung Yang. All right, guys, stay in that position for just a minute. Okay, parents, so that's day one. We're going to have two of these videos coming out every week to help you guys train throughout the week. You can repeat these each day or you can alternate them. Whatever works best for you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to train with your kids and keep their skills up and hopefully enjoy some training yourself. In fact, I hope that each one of you gets used to doing some of this training and, likes, and wants to come in and try out a real class. Thank you guys again and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Kyung Yang. Great job guys.